So let's head into leaflet cluster and go through this a little. So you can see there's all kinds of stuff. Spiderify on max zoom, show coverage on, coverage on hover, zoom on bounce to click. Now you can kind of understand what those mean. So show coverage on hover. That's showing this polygon when I hover over things. You don't, you don't have to show it. You can turn that off. You can also turn off the clicking effect if you want to have some kind of other mouse over effect or scrolling effect. You can also, as it says here, icon create function. So you can create your own custom cluster marker. So this is kind of what we're looking for. So um, it says here, you can create the icon. It changes color at 10 and 100, but more advanced uses may require. Yeah, so like if I have some information, say like um, I was working up for a client the other day and they're showing loans in their country and where the most of them are going over, over overdue or whatever and wanted to see them colored based on that and it's a little bit like you have to change it and you also want different colors so I wanted to make sure that I was building it correctly so I came in here and used this icon create function so we're going to do the same, same kind of thing so that should just go in the same old options that we've always uh, run into right up here these Okay, so we got that, and what's this? Cluster.get child count. Okay, so this is showing what's going to be inside of it. So it should just be bold. We'll probably get, it will just be a bold version of what we had. Oh, see, we kind of broke the whole icon, so it's just a little div. So that's pretty sweet. We could do all kinds of things. So you can see we can get the child count. It says how many are in it. So if we were going to maybe, you know, I could add some kind of div that's a little easier to style. So maybe I say, okay, there's div, and we call it class equals cluster div. Easy enough. And head up here, okay, cluster div, and give it, you know, how about a width? We'll, we'll do the width dynamically, and uh, but we want it to have at least a padding of maybe 10 pixels. Um, I want it to have a good border radius, really strong border radius, maybe 100. Um, and the rest is, you know, pretty pretty easy. So, okay, let's let's just reload that and see how they look now. See, we might want the text centered as well. Oh, looks like we we really want to get that width in there. So let's do that. We'll make the width dependent on how many there are here. So it goes from, let's see, we can just see it and we'll do it um, our own way. But <clears throat> you can imagine how you would, you know, perhaps do this dynamically based on oh, what's the maximum of all the values and the minimums, and then you can scale it certain ways. We're just going to go from, you know, 0 up to, let's see here, I think we got up to 100. Okay, well, we'll just imagine that that's something like that. So we'll make the, um, we'll go down here to where the width might be. We're going to add it just as a direct style. So we're going to save our width equals cluster count. Okay, so that's going to be this number here times, oh, I don't know, one pixel? Ten pixels? It's going to make this huge. Maybe we can, we could do it also scaling of some kind, but let's make it like five pixels or something. So it's going to be kind of outrageous, but let's, uh, let's give it, let's just go for it. It's supposed to be fun, right? So width, and we'll just do, oh, that should be that pixels and we'll do the same with height make them kind of even now we're probably going to want text centered in that and all that let's just see oh looks like we're not getting quite what we expect so what's going on here let's inspect on this and see if we have things looking right so it looks like here's the cluster div it does have a height and a width but it's not actually the thing that's showing properly here. This is some other bit of a leaflet icon that they have just showing up by default. So this is enormous. <laughs> we don't really want it to be that big, but the others are very small. Anyway, why don't we uh, give this a background as well and so we can actually see it. We'll give it a white background with some transparency. Remember, we're just kind of playing around trying to make something. So you can see here we got different circles, different sizes, and there's obviously some that really stand out. As we go down they start to make a little more sense. Now they're not centered in the right place, we need to 
orient these correctly. Now we could also, of course, change the color instead based on the uh, the particular count of markers that's in these. It's not too hard to do. We could also, like I said, scale this differently. So we could, instead of having such a huge gap between 5 and 70, have something a little more reliable. So I'm going to mess around a little more and just make this nice. So if you want to stick around in this video, let's, uh, let's make this a little nicer. I can't just leave these sitting around so bad looking, so I'm going to give them a standard width and height and uh, back off from the, the whole mess that I was kind of doing there. So we'll go width, how about just, uh, you know, 10 pixels, height, 10 pixels. They also have that padding, so that's okay. Now I'm going to say like margin left minus 10, margin top minus 10. And that, since they kind of have a combined height and width of 20, we'll see, we'll see see what kind of happens here. So they're not showing up. Oh, we took away the background. That's my bad. All right, there we go. Let's check that out. So they're still, oh, <laughs> of course I have to get rid of our extra rules that we added. Let's get rid of that. Messing up my whole jive there. All right, let's check it. And they are centered nicely now. Now we have this annoying, stupid div behind it that we got to get rid of. And what is this? This is the leaflet marker icon. Okay, leaflet marker icon, you got to get out of here. So we're going to grab that, and we're just going to get rid of its width and height. No, we're going to get rid of its background and its border. That's all we need to do. So head up here, style this a little more. We're going to have background, kill it. And border, kill it. All right, now let's reload this. And there we go, they're starting to look nice. Now the text is still not centered. Ah, uh, it's pretty annoying. Okay, so let's get the text centered. Let's just do a little more here. So maybe our padding is a little big so that centered text doesn't really work. And maybe we should also add a text align center. Um, now what if we make, you know, maybe in the padding five pixels instead? And we make the size a little bigger, so things are just a little more clean. All right, so the larger ones now fit a bit. Um, you can see maybe we want a little bit more padding on the top, just because things seem to be a little bit, oh, but that expanded our size. So, so maybe we'll just reduce the height and width a little, just to make it easy on us. There we go, that seems to fit pretty nicely in there. Be a little more, 17 and 17, just to be outlandish. All right, so that's looking good. So, of course, that's probably not going to look as great when we run into, um, you know, hundreds when we first load and that kind of thing. But I just want to improve it a bit, okay? You don't have to be pedantic. See, okay, it doesn't look good. Okay, but here it looks good, right? Right? That looks nice. Looks like nice little clusters. And we could add, even add a little bit of uh, shadow to that box. Shadow on 2px, 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 gray. Okay, let's do that. Now let's change the colors a little. <coughs> well, it actually didn't make it look that much better, but that's okay. I want to get, maybe change that to something a little more elegant in there. So, animate adding, polygon options. There it is, polygon options. And we head in again to our same setup right here polygon options and we probably okay so we'll pass in polygon options we'll pass that in as its object so it'll be a weight 0.5 and a color of black and that should reload over here and let's see what we get Oh, great. That is that is a little bit nicer, a little bit more reasonable. We could also make that, we could do a lot of things. We could change the colors of the interiors. We could change so many more things. But I think we should get on to the next video. Um, you get the idea of clustering and styling, and you can do this on your own now.